Each year, the government has targets for the amount of forestry to be planted, but last year just one-third of that target was met. Delays with granting licences to operate have dogged the system. Timber shortages have been an issue, and for those growing trees for the sector, it's a problem too. We produce plants to meet the government's climate action targets every year. Um, we saw the seed three years in advance, and the government target is 8,000 hectares per year, but the government are only planting 2,300 hectares a year, which is leaving us with a huge conundrum and a huge surplus of plants. There are 50 million plants growing in this field. They are tiny, and in 30 years' time, plants like this will be harvested for timber. Nurseries on this scale mean that the state can meet its forestry targets. As it struggles to meet those targets, this new strategy addresses a range of issues, including the huge delays in granting licences to allow for felling and planting. While there is most certainly a problem, um, which we, I fully acknowledge with the, the licensing process within the industry, we also have to look forward. We have to see what we want from forestry of the future um, and, and how it fits in. Um, so de delivering for biodiversity, for carbon storage, um, fitting in with communities as well. There's huge concerns across the country about forestry in, in local areas. So we have to deal with all of these. The afforestation programme is on the floor. We're not getting the trees into the ground. We're not getting them back out of the ground and into the sawmills. It needs a kickstart now and this is the opportunity I think for the Minister to put our mark on this industry. As our forests become more than just farms, this new strategy aims to develop that further. Capturing not just carbon but benefiting communities too. Fran McNulty, RTE News, Wexford.